Saving is hard, but being broke, that's way, way harder. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Subscribers to this channel are people who are tired of the status quo and they want to live lives of value and massive, massive impact. When I came to the US last year, I had a reality check. And <laughs> what was that? Every month we pay bills over here with the greatest of that being rent. But I wanted to save, yes. And then these are the top five things that helped me. Point number five, look for scholarships. That's free money. Every university has available scholarships that they give. This is apart from your tuition scholarship or your graduate assistantship. Apart from what the department awards or what you find on campus, there are available scholarships on the school's website. It helps knock out your university fees. The average private university pays about $40,000 per year, while public pays about $30,000 per year. So if you're able to knock that off, that is a whole lot of savings that you're gonna do. So I didn't really benefit from this because I found out in my final semester when I was about to finish. So the total saved so far is zero dollars. Point number four, avoid buying anything new. Avoid buying anything new. Now, some of you might not like this point, but I want you to remember that savings requires discipline. Yes, for you to be a good saver, you have to be disciplined. You also need to make sacrifices, and this is one of them. Now, when you're done with grad school, when you get a good high-paying job or you start your business and you're profitable, you can buy new stuffs every month for as long as you wish. I won't advise that though, but you have the money to do that at that time. But for now, let's look at cultivating the habit of discipline and frugality. So there are a lot of thrift stores online and even physical stores, like for example here in Bowling where I'm located. There's a store called Goodwill where they sell thrift items. Now, in some schools, they usually share out free things, office supplies, clothing, footwears, house supplies, and all the likes. They usually share them out like periodically. In my school, it's called Campus Restore. And this is the one that I personally maximized. I didn't really buy a lot of new stuffs when I came and even up until now I've not really like bought so many new things. I think one of the major new clothing I got was my suit which I used for my graduation. You can check out, I did a vlog on graduation which you can check out here. To calculate how much I saved, it was mostly through the campus restore where free things were given out. So I got like three hoodies, 10 t-shirts and like three sneakers. So. I went on Amazon to see how much they cost and then how much I was able to save. Each hoodie cost about 25.10, each t-shirt cost about 18.75, and each sneakers cost about 59.95. Now, these are the ones that look very similar to what I got from the campus store. This makes a total of 442.65. Assuming I make a purchase every month, so I'm dividing that by 12 is approximately $37. So the total saved so far is $37. Point number three, compare health insurance plans. Every student has to pay health insurance. Every international student has to pay health insurance. So you can't avoid this. But the school's health insurance is always very expensive. Always very expensive. So look for other options ask fellow students in the school ask even the person in charge of student insurance like what are the other options for students ask questions here in bgsu where i am the alternative health insurance is psi which a lot of students use but it's only advantageous to people that are less than 30 years from 30 and above is more expensive than the school's health insurance and then i am less than 30 at the point of recording this so i opted with the psi so to calculate how much i saved the psi plan that i opted in for cost 1285 annual plan 
and then the Bollinger State University health insurance plan costs thousand three hundred and nine dollars. This is a difference of ten twenty four. It's an annual plan, as I said. So if we divide it by twelve, that's eighty five. So this brings our total so far to about one hundred and twenty two. So point number two: be smart about your textbooks. You're studying, and so you buy textbooks. Be smart about how you get them. Don't buy from your campus bookstore. It's always designed to be expensive. Yes, there are cheaper alternatives. Consider your school library. See if they have the book. You could borrow it for how long you can borrow it. So see if you can get it online. Project Gutenberg is a good site, which you can check out. Another option is to ask your friends. Students usually just have a way of getting these things, yes. So ask your friends, they have like the soft copy, or how to access it. You can also buy used on eBay or Amazon. You can also consider reselling it when you're done with the course. To calculate how much I saved, I'm just gonna use my last semester, which is spring. I did three courses that required four textbooks. So the total of all the textbooks needed is 546.27. But then I bought a textbook. <laughs> so what made me buy the textbook? I found out that my university has an affiliation with the sellers of the book. So when I'm on campus and logged into the school's Wi-Fi, the price of the book reduces from $250 to $25. <laughs> That's hilarious, but that's actually what happened. So that was the only textbook that I bought. Taking the difference, it brings it down to 521.27. The semester is four months, so taking the average, that's 130.32. So this brings our total to approximately $252. So what brought me the most amount of savings monthly is point number one, cook your meals. And for a pro tip, cook them in bulk yes this is a no-brainer for me you must eat we must eat everybody must eat really so why give the money away when you can eat healthier and have a better control of the preparation process of the meal so I personally cook in bulk I cook on the weekends so what I do cook pack them in bowls and then store it in the freezer till whenever I'm ready to eat. To calculate how much I saved on this one, I'm going to use the price of a pizza because I love pizzas, personally. <laughs> I love pizzas like very well. So a large Domino pizza is about $20. And then I know, okay, breakfast, lunch, dinner for a week, two should be able to do that. Yes, yeah, so $20 times two in a week and then times four, four weeks in a month that's like $160 so our saving so far is 412 which is much more than even saving 400 per month if you like this video I'd like to invite you to give this video a like please hit the like button below so that the algorithm can recommend this video to other grad students who might be thinking of oh how do I save how can I save more so many bills to pay and all that so please hit the like button so that the algorithm can spread it out and thank you very much. But to achieve success is more than just financial. Yes, your grades need to be top notch. And I did a video that showed how I graduated with almost a 4.0 in grad school. So you can check that out next after watching this video. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you loved it and then I'll see you in the next one. Bye.